Welcome back to Newsmakers on the panel this week. Martin Van Bainen, Sharon Torstensen and Hector Matthews. Should you let your children play alone at the local park? If you think they are responsible and up to it. Christchurch father George Kenton has been investigated after letting his nine and four year olds uh, play by themselves at the local playground and uh, the new children's commissioner has chipped in opining that Mr Kenton was taking a risk. Was it unduly risky? Hector. Um... Uh... Look, I, I think so. He was a four-year-old four kid. I, I let my kids go and play down in the park. I said, "Auntie, your first question: Yes, it is safe. It's safer than driving in cars. Um, it, statistically, that's the case. So, uh, I'm a big fan of kids going into the playground. But my younger kids are 13 and 14. That's quite different to uh, when, when my child was nine. I wouldn't let them look after a four-year-old at a park. Um, I think Mr. Was it Kenton? Yes. Erred in judgment. Oh, that doesn't mean he's a bad bloke, because we all err in judgment. Um, but four years old is too young um, for a nine-year-old to be looking after him. If the kid was 14 or 15, mm -hmm. that's a little bit different. Um, what about if it was the nine-year-old on their own? Oh, yeah. yeah I, mean, I, I, I remember vividly playing down at parks and rivers and beaches at nine years old by myself. Because mm. you, you, you meet up with other kids and you make friends and so on. And like I said, statistically, it's still safer than putting them in the back of your car and going for a drive. When was the last time a kid was hurt in a park in this city? Now, I don't know the answer to that, but uh, you, you, can count, you, you can all remember when that last kid was hurt in a car. Um, or, or on, a, on a cycle or something yeah. like that. Okay. So um, it is safe down at the park and we shouldn't wrap kids up in, wo in, in cotton wool. Um, but I do think a nine-year-old looking after a four-year-old is too much responsibility. In a more general sense, the fact that New Zealand's law stipulates that children under 14 must not be left alone without reasonable provisions being made. Is this another one of those murky, reasonable debates? It's, a, it's like the reasonable word has struck again, hasn't it? What do you think, Martin? Where do you stand on this? I think it depends very much on the kids. I mean, there are some kids I wouldn't leave alone if, when they're 16 or 17. Um, and, but there are some very sensible kids, some very sensible 8, 9 or 10 year olds. And so, yeah, I sort of, um, I mean, I think that that, that rule is, um, is adhered to more in the breach than, um, I've said that wrong, haven't I? But anyway, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think most families are, are pretty um, sensible about this. And, and I agree with Hector. I mean, I think four, year, four years old seems to me a bit young to be um, at a park on his own. Kids do stupid things on playgrounds. They fall off things. They hang off things. And, mm. and, um, and, and, but Elmwood Park, I thought, that was a strange... I mean, Elmwood Park would be probably one of the safest parks I would have thought around. Mm. <laughs> so is, is that a, a critical factor in this mix for a parent? You know, if they know their local playground, if they know it's not full of, you know, pee addicts or dope smokers, whatever, um, and strange men in funny coats, um, should it be happy-go-lucky, happy time for kids to go and have a play by themselves? Yeah, in this case... I don't know enough of the circumstances, like how long were the kids going to be away for, was Dad going to pop down and keep an eye on them, how far from the house were they, so on. It's all pretty much a, sure. a judgement call. Um, you know, I'd be a bit apprehensive about a four-year-old being down there, but yeah. it probably happened, I can't remember that far back when my kids were that young, but it probably happened. Sure. Um, but it's intriguing. What's puzzling me is, is there's quite a bit of public support for the guys' stand. That, there is. That we need to let kids take responsibility and take risks and we do wrap them up in cotton wool. Mm. But I just kind of wondered if if those kids had been down at a park in one of the less salubrious areas of town and if their surname had been something like Rangifetu and if their parent advocating for their freedom to be resp responsible was a solo mum on the DPB, would there be quite as much support? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, it yeah. wouldn't be. It, it's it's wouldn't a fair be. observation. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, just a quickie on Joe Karam, and he is going to write another book. I know that's going to really shock you. Um, HarperCollins <laughs> are cock-a-hoop about this. They believe this is going to be one of the seminal books when it comes to criminal justice in New Zealand. Will you be gigging to get your hands on it, Hector? Oh, I've got no interest whatsoever in the book. They won't be getting my money. I, uh, I'm over it. Mm. Time to move on. Mm. Sharon, will you be reading it? In a few years, when I get it out of the public library, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, would you consider writing a book instead? 
Uh, a lot of people ask me that, and I, I would. Um, it's a question of really getting time and resources and all that sort of thing. But there's, there's, there is uh, there, another uh, book is being written apparently to counter Joe, so it's not as though Joe will be, go onto the market completely unchallenged. But I, I will read it, and I'll be very interested to hear what he says. And um, I think this time there'll be a lot more sort of um, scepticism um, applied to his work. And it'll be it'll, it'll be really interesting to see what sort of res response he gets. But mm. I hope I hope for his sake that people aren't over it. Sure. I still think it is. Uh, <laughs> and if I ever write a book, I hope I hope I haven't got well, my customers are not like you, Hector. <laughs> How's he going to make a living? <laughs> we'll uh, whip through a few brickbats and bouquets for the week. About thirty seconds for this. So any names that bubble to the top, good or bad, Mr. Matthews? Um, not a name specifically, but uh, a justice system that allows. Um, provocation to be argued as a legitimate defence for murder um, is a villain, and, and you, uh, you all know what I'm talking about. I don't know how. Uh, when all of a sudden did provocation become a defence for murder in this country? Well, sure. Did that start sometime? Did I miss that somewhere? I think we should stop this, <laughs> given that the jury had, haven't, hasn't come to a... So that's my villain anyway. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> you were going to do that anyway, weren't you? Exactly. Yeah. Judge Van Bainen got on first. <laughs> I've got ten Justice. seconds. Uh, Justice, I do apologise. Yes, yes, yes. High Court, yes. Um, very quickly, any names to mention? A hero, not a name, but the judge in India who decided that the law against um, gay sex was in itself illegal. OK. Very good. Anyone for you, Martin? Well, I think the... Um the management of the French rugby team. I, think, you know, <laughs> I just and also and um, yeah, I'm not sure whether Macho Bastaro, Bastaro mm -hmm. is a victim or a or a, um, a villain, but mm -hmm. there's, there there must be. I don't know what's happened there, but I'd love to know what 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 went down. It's a great right. story. Now, last week's Newsmakers poll, uh, Mayor Bob Parker is halfway through his first term in the city's top job. What word best describes his mayoralty to date? Well, thank you for the hundreds and hundreds of choice descriptives. The one that bubbled to the top, action man, or a doer or active. We had to come and pull those together. Bob is with us on Tuesday night at 8.30 to talk about his mayoralty to date. This week's question, should a parent be allowed to determine whether their children can play by themselves at the local park? Give us your vote. You'll be in to win the MTA voucher and the Café La Fare coffee. And we'll bring you the results next week. Thank you very much to our panel. Have a great weekend. Do your best to keep warm and dry. And we'll see you next week. Good night. <laughs>